Hi everyone, it's Ellen from the Trailhead Homestead. I'm out in my garden today um, picking some peas, uh, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about aphids and four things that I have learned recently to control aphids. Uh, right now inside the greenhouse, aphids are devastating my poor peppers. I don't think I'm really going to get a good harvest for my peppers this year, but I have thrown everything at them um, and I have learned four things main ways to control aphids um, organically and I'll share those with you today. So um, without further ado let's go into the greenhouse and I'll show you what I've got going on. Now here we have my beloved pepper plants. I have got um, three different kinds of pepper plants. Here we have the sweet banana. This one is a jalapeno plant. It's not doing so well. And these ones are actually red bell peppers. They're supposed to be big red bell peppers, and they are growing successfully, but they're not making any peppers yet. And that is because of this utter devastation with the aphids. Now, these leaves are covered with little green bugs. I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see those tiny green bugs. Some of them are a little brownish colored. Um, but they are giving my pepper plants a really hard time. So the first method that I have done to control my aphids is completely organic, requires no chemicals, it's completely free, and it's just this. You use your fingers to roll them off. You just take the leaves like this and you just rub them off. Now, as you can see, this is a large leaf and there are a lot of aphids. They all come off on my fingers and I rub them off and then I go wash my hands. Problem is, is that requires coming back every single day, rubbing off all of the aphids and um, possibly missing a few. The problem is, is the aphids can reproduce thousands and thousands at a time. They can replenish that whole population that you just killed off. They can replace that in less than a day. So my next solution is going to be a little bit more aggressive. It's this, it's neem oil. Now neem oil is technically organic, um, but you have to be careful with it because it does affect all bugs equally. For instance, this sweet butterfly that came to visit me while I was filming. So things like butterflies, ladybugs, and other pollinators, if they get into your greenhouse, they're going to be harmed by this neem oil, just like um, the aphids will same as everything else. So it's a little bit of a nuclear bomb when it comes to um, pest control. Another thing I've done is I have got this big, beautiful, luscious tobacco plant. The local greenhouse next to me, a couple miles away from me, uses these in their greenhouse to attract and kill aphids. And they're pretty successful at it, considering they're a large commercial business. Pretty proud of this cute little tobacco plant because it used to be very small, very dry, falling over, and I have grown it into this big, beautiful, luscious plant that it is today. The science behind it is that um, it attracts the aphids away from the pepper plants, uh, supposedly, and since it contains nicotine, uh, it is poisonous to bugs. Uh, just like it is poisonous to humans, although we do enjoy the toxin, we, we smoke it in cigarettes, and it is toxic to animals. So the drawback with this is that you have to be careful where you put it. Um, wash your hands after you've been touching the leaves so you don't get nicotine in your system. And keep it away from your pets as well, um, because if your pets chew on these leaves, they will get sick they will get nic nicotine in their system. So it is a toxic plant, just like some house plants are. Now there is one more method that I have not used in my greenhouse, and that's because I have already come along and used the other three methods. Um, and that is buying ladybugs from a local greenhouse. Most greenhouses you can go and buy a package of live ladybugs or lady beetles, and they will devour um, your aphids. The problem with that is, is that in my greenhouse, I have already used neem oil and I have already planted this tobacco plant. Tobacco plant will also be toxic to the lady beetles as well. Although they do, they eat aphids more than they 
they don't eat plants. So theoretically, they shouldn't be harmed, but I don't want to risk that. And I've also already sprayed neem oil all over my plants. So anyway, that was a quick um, summary of the methods that I have used in my garden to combat aphids. As you can see, I'm still fighting them. I don't think my peppers are going to be super great this year. But outside in the garden, out here, we are mostly aphid free. I have got a lot of produce to share, even if the aphids have devastated my peppers. That's okay. I'll buy some peppers at the local farmer's market to add to my salsa this year. So uh, I hope those methods helped out, um, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.